So over the weekend, Shane Duffy uh, didn't, didn't feature again um, against Wolves. Uh, Matt Doherty obviously did, and as solid as he has been well, the majority of this season. But um, Duffy's played nine games this season. Um, he's been injured, obviously, we all know, and we were, we were sweating on him to get back for the, for our games. But he's played nine games, and four of the nine have come as losses, and he's got one clean sheet in that time. Um, but he seems to have lost his place in the team to Webster, who's came in. Uh, so ever since Graham Potter has basically took over. Now, Chris Hewton used to, uh, used to love Shane Duffy, and he was, you know, he signed him and went up with him to the Premier League and so on. They had a great relationship. But the thing I'm looking at now is Potter seems to be moving forward with this kind of way that he wants to play, and I don't think he's, he's trained off his suit in this system. And he's third in the pecking order. He's probably going to be fourth in the pecking order if he stays past January because Ben White is on loan at Leeds and... He's making huge headlines, okay. and now all a lot of top teams, even Liverpool, uh, are linked with him. So the problem Shane Duffy has is if he stays, he could be maybe fourth choice come next season. This is a player who's won the Player of the Year twice for Brighton and can't get into the team. Now we all know how crucial he is for Ireland. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I suppose first of all, I'm surprised because the the Duffy and Dunk partnership seemed to be set in stone at Brighton um, yeah I, th I think it is it is a style of play I mean Potter wants to play out from the back and I know it's very much in vogue in, in football at the moment and with all due respects to Shane he's not the first person you think of when you're playing out from the back but I, 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 I'm, but I, to be honest, I'm a bit sceptical about this because uh, your first job as a centre-half is to defend. And I mean, I, I, certainly Mick McCarthy wouldn't be worried about Shane Duffy's style of play because that's, that's the type of player Mick was in, in his day very much. And Shane Duffy is a very good defender. But he's not bad on the ball. You look at the Denmark games. Remember they were playing the ball out from the yeah, back. He didn't look uncomfortable. It's not so much he looks uncomfortable, but he, it wouldn't be. Yeah, it's not he's not going point. to be. It's not his strong point. He's not going to be kind of a John Stones or someone like that. Yeah, but but I, he's a better defender than John Stones. He is, and he is a very good defender, and he's probably a better defender. I know I'm biased than what Brighton probably have. You know, um, yeah. he probably is the best defender, and I mean, Brighton are still conceding a lot of goals. Now, I know they'll say they're drawing players in, maybe they're scoring more goals because of that style of play, and and, and I know the arguments in favour of playing the ball out from the back, retaining possession, etc. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is worrying for Shane, because we need we need him playing. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's any question his Irish place is under threat. If Shane Duffy is fit, he starts for us. Well, you've, you've um, seen that by you yeah. know the, the, him struggling to make the, the was it the Denmark game? the Denmark game yeah, yeah he was I mean he was it was a doubt about yeah. that yeah so um, I was kind of thinking he was going to play in the New Zealand game for some strange oh, reason. No, no, yeah, we need him. Sure, look, Mick made him captain for the for the biggest yeah, game so, in no, a long, long time. And I mean, even if he's even if he's not playing regularly come March, I think he almost certainly will start if fit. Um, it is a concern. I, I don't know if it's at a stage where he would be looking to move in January. Maybe it's a bit soon. He certainly would be an option for a, for a team that needs a really good defender because that's what Shane is. And I mean, I, I even looked to when Mick McCarthy, not so much even international management, but in club management, would always want his, his centre halves normally to be first and foremost. His defenders getting uh, and getting blocks on the ball, heading the ball clear, um, st clearing the ball, stopping the ball from getting into the box, um, th as opposed to being someone who's a really good passer of the ball. Yeah, I'm not saying Shane isn't a really good passer of the ball, but he's he's not like John focused. Egan is is very very good on the ball. Yeah, they, uh, well he's drilled into it at Sheffield United. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, look, but. Who could he? Who could he realistically go to? And just kind of before you answer, I think it it is worth noting as well is that the likes of Aaron Connolly and Jason Malumbi. I know Jason's on loan at 
Millwall at the minute, but he, Shane Duffy is a, a bit of a mentor for them and he looks after them. Yeah. You know, I was told recently when I was out with, with the family and stuff like that, like he's changed his kind of area in the dressing room to be beside Connolly. So they're very close as yeah. well, do you know what I mean? So he, he is kind of taking care of the younger lads as well. There was a strong contingent of Irish players at Brighton, you know. I, yeah. know, I know Dan Mandreo just came back to Bowes, had a great season. But th- there is a strong contingent of Irish there and I think I think I think players around would kind of suffer if he goes. I know he's quite he's very popular within the team there as well, you know. Yeah, no, and I, I mean I, I I'd hate to see him go. I mean Brighton is a really great club. They have a fantastic stadium. I many many years I was actually there once. Beautiful, and uh, it's it's a lovely seaside town. It's a great place to be. Um, so it it is fantastic that he's there. I I I'd love to see him get more game time. Um, but it is, it, it's concerning that he's already behind Dunk and Webster and if White comes back, as you're saying, then yeah, that's, that would be a real, a real worry. Yeah, so, who, who do you think if he was to leave in January, whether it's on loan or a permanent transfer, who he'd be a good fit? Because I think Brighton has been a good fit for him for so long and whether that was because of Chris Hewton, I don't know, but I know Hewton loved him. You know, yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe a Newcastle or a, you know, because it wasn't that long ago he was tipped to replace Harry Maguire. Like people were calling, and it was a serious shout for him to replace um, Maguire if he went to United. You know, obviously he did go, but you know, that was only four, what, three, four months ago, five months ago. Yeah, and he's just kind of. If you were to say at the start of the season that. Shane Duffy wouldn't have been starting for Brighton. I think everyone would just be kind of scratching their head going, what are you talking about? You're talking nonsense. But it seems to be the reality. But if he was to go somewhere, where, where, would, where would you think would be a good fit? Or where would you, you know, like to see him go, maybe? Well, I'd like to see him, I'd, I'd like to see him stay in the Premier League. Oh, and I'd like to see him yeah. playing regularly. Um, uh, you're probably putting me a little bit on the spot here and we've been switch teams that don't so much play out from the back. Mm. I, I don't know if there's room for him at Everton, Paul. Would he I'd take get him in back. the Everton? I'd um, take him back. Yeah. Uh, Newcastle seem mean Kieran Clark is doing really well at Newcastle. They're up into the top half at the moment. Um, yeah. Surprise. Well, Steve Bruce being the manager there. Well, half, and yeah, that. and doing probably better just despite they hate him, but he's doing a lot better than Rafa, even Rafa Benitez, who was who did a fine job there as well. Um, so I, I I don't know if if Newcastle would be an option. Um, Everton possibly. Um, I, I I'm not sure. Maybe I don't watch enough Premier League to see who actually needs a, a centre half or a really good defender at the moment. Um, Maybe a concern is, I know Brighton are doing really well, they've had a decent enough start to the season, but they're probably still saying we have to stay up this year, so they may not be keen to let Shane go somewhere where he could bolster another defence that could keep somebody else in the Premier League. Um, He could have been an option for for Leicester, but I mean, they've got um, the the young Turkish centre-half, Sonic Hoglu, however you pronounce it, he's playing fantastically for them, as, as well as Johnny Evans. Um, yeah. So I I don't think Leicester is an option. Um, yeah, no, not anymore. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, I don't, uh, but Brendan Rodgers did like him. Like Brendan Rodgers did try to sign him for Celtic, but he went yeah. to Brighton. You know, he was very very close to signing him for Celtic. He told me that himself. Yeah, um, that it was just a matter of transfer fees and so on. So he ended up going to Brighton under Hewton. So, um, but and, then, and that was a great. Move but I think for that him, shows you know. that Brendan Rodgers is a fan of his as yeah. well. Yeah. So I think that's worth noting that. Don't rule out Leicester at the same time. Yeah, um, no, I mean, and, and they're they're obviously flying at the moment, you know. The so. only thing I'd be saying from a Leicester point of view is, why would I be taking a player that's a Brighton not playing to come to Leicester who are flying? That's the only yeah. thing I, I, I would say. No, I think, I, I, I'm not sure who's backup for Evans and Sonu, Sonu Coglu. Is it, is I, I it, is it Wes Murray? Is Anshu, I Anshu, what do you have? I'm not sure how to pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, just yeah. calling the crazy man. Yeah, but the... <laughs> He is a very, very talented young Turkish centre half. But uh, is it Wes Morgan has played, still playing some of the games, and he's probably getting on a bit. I don't, I don't know. I haven't been following there. Yeah, uh, I haven't their, followed their it too, too, too closely much. either. Great but, side, but. but I mean, but does Shane want to? I mean, I, I don't think Shane's going to break into that defence at the moment. Yeah. given he wants to go somewhere first team football. Yeah. Um, 
Southampton play kind of a, out from the back as well. Whether he fits that mould, you're not too sure. Um, so kind of looking around the Premier League, you don't know. Celtic may be an option as well because you almost signed there. So um, there is options. Ideally, you'd like to see him break back into the Brighton team and, and continue yeah. there because do you think it's a good fit and it's good for our younger players to have him there? I oh, think it'd be great for Aaron Connolly to have him there. And, and you mean he did have a fantastic partnership with Lewis Dunk, so maybe... They could. Yeah. Re- it's crazy that to again. think, though, yeah. because when he comes into the Ireland squad, you're, you're the number one person that you want to see making sure he's playing is Shane Duffy. Oh, I mean, he's, cru- anyway. he's crucial. I mean, in, in some ways, you could be glad that he's not getting too much game time and he doesn't get injured from March because I, I shudder to think. I think that's playing. what Mick said. I think there was a game just before <laughs> yeah. and he said, oh, I'm happy he's not playing it. It'd be nice and perfect for me. So you can see Mick absolutely loves him as well. There's going to be a bit of a predicament as well when it comes to you know captain will Coleman come in ahead of Doherty. There's all that stuff's going to be. It, it won't. There's no yeah. point in talking about it now because it won't. There's too much football to be played yeah. between now and then. Yeah. You know, Seamus still has to break back into the Everton side. He's injured at the moment now with a rib injury too. So yeah. there's a lot of football to take into account. But it'll be interesting to see whether he goes with Doherty if he's still flying um, and and Duffy captains. And it'll be interesting to see again injuries all have to be taken into account as well. Um, but I think we'll leave it there and, and let you guys tell us who you, what you think um, about Shane Duffy. Should he leave Brighton, maybe whether it's on loan or permanently? What do you think? Who do you think he should go to? And who do you think would be a good fit for, for Duffy to, to join? And um, Yeah, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. We just did a video on Troy Parrott there as well, um, speaking about whether or not Jose will decide to give him more minutes than Pochettino. And uh, yeah, and, and obviously on the FAI as well. So check it out. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll speak to you guys soon.